Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are done with... Sorry. We are done with Gilded Veil for now. Oh, we can go. Uh, we must go to Kaet Noir. Which is here. We need to go to Black Meadow and Unslock Compa Unslock Compass, I think. Can I see some more of this map yet? Yeah. Okay, so for now... We only have Cat Noir here, but we must go to Magrans Fork in order to get anywhere. Yeah, so nice. That was quick. No need to worry. Oh, I did not. Mm -hmm. I didn't sort our socks. Which socks? <laughs> oh. Your reflection warps and twists in the live gleaming Atra. What do we have here? Boars. Okay, oh, it's not done yet. Those enemies are a lot easier than what we've encountered in the temple. Which is interesting. Yes. That is as long as we do not encounter their mother, I guess. I don't know if I do want to look around this place. Oh, you see? Ah, oh, hello there. Begging your pardon, but you gave me a good fright. I thought I heard something rustling through the brush. I suppose it was just you, silly of me. Don't suppose you happen to have some supplies? <laughs> I thought I would make my way over to Madame Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'll be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Better said than sorry, right? Say, did you hear something? No? Should they? Oh, there's a wolf. I probably will disable it slow mode or not. This is literally the worst moment to think about it. Man, third breath. That went nicely, given how many enemies it was. What was that? Oh, it's him being gone. Just how big is this place? I can check. Rather big. I thought it was someone's face on the table. Oh, 
Ooh, rope and grappling hook, that's great. We do need those. What the hell are you, Willow Voice? Could you... No, I only have one spell slot and it's already done for. Are you stunned? Those are nice. Although it was a little bit weird that it was the wisp was triggered by us exiting the house. Hello? There! That one! Get that one! Hi. Oh, I don't like you. You are casting. Lava. Injured. Lava be on seek. Okay, great. Maybe I won't get rid of the slow mode just yet. Ooh. Okay, this is a grimoire. It seems I have no choice but to provide you with instruction. Frederick's forces are spread, are spread thin, and the road uh, through the wild to the south of Gilded Vale lies unguarded. Given these favorable circumstances, I am sure that even you can manage to handle the, a peasant or two. The archers tell me that Kolsk's men made south after the escape. If you should happen to retrieve one of their number, I may be convinced to forgive your previous mistakes. <sighs> For the last time, you are to keep clear of Defiance Bay. Know that if you cannot be trusted to acquire a useful specimen with even a modicum of discretion, I have no qualms whatsoever about using what materials I have at my disposal instead. You take that. And we have a new one for you. That's that's still worse than what you have. Uh, I'm here. Oh, we are literally stripping them off their clothes. Hey. <laughs> oh well. They should know better than to fight with us. Honestly. Mm. Mm. This no. This is the grimoire. This is first level spell as well. Cause a flood of unearthed blades into existence, inflicting immediate piercement and a hopeful affliction target all in the area of effect. Hmm. Give me this one. Sure. Oh, I can learn all, all, all of them. Great. Nice. And we still have the grimoire. Because he's the fork that I saw you in the flame. Ignore. A statue of Magran, goddess of war and flame. Dozens of names have been scratched into the stone at her feet, supplicants seeking her blessing. West to Gilded Vale, south to Anthrox, compass east to Black Meadow. Squatting at the base of this statue is an incredibly ugly man with bulging red cheeks raked by pox scars and a scraggy beard. He is sweating as if he has a fever, but his breathing is measured and steady, like a slow push of a blacksmith's bellows. But that comparison feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison, possibly sparked by his grin, uh, is that of a bear trap. And then. Out of nowhere, there is the hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify the smell. Come to pray at the, statue. the question mark is barely there. As the man makes the statement, the statue takes an reddish cast, as if one is holding a torch to it, then slowly blossoms into waving flames. 
The man doesn't turn as the statue blossoms into fire. The others are welcome, but it's best if just you and I trade words, and your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcane and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. Hmm. I swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow. If that's enough of a promise for you. If not... A stuff rests easily in his hand. It wasn't there a moment ago. Study the man. The sudden waving flames from the statue of Margaret cast more light on his features. The man's robes are dirty, stained with grease and other marks of the road. The handles of his robes, including the sleeves, are burned at the edges, as if he walked a great distance across a fire, then reached into the flames with his hand to pull something out. But while his hands are thick and callous, they bear no burn or scorch marks. Examine the statue. The weaving firelight from the statue gives off no heat, so much so you wonder if it is a trick of the mind. The ugly man before it doesn't seem to notice it, or feel it, although the sheen on his brow is still present, as if it's burning up from within. Focus your gaze on the stuff. The stuff looks thick, stout, or blackened ash once burned by a terrible fire. Beneath the ash, the lines in the wood bear shapes and patterns, and there is a certainty that the stuff was once something far more dangerous. But not now. As you study it deeper, it shimmers slightly in your eyes, like water catching the light weaving across the statue. Whatever power was bled from the stuff, it doesn't make it, or the wielder, any less dangerous. You look up to see the man ca watching you study the stuff as his gaze meets yours. He nods with a humorous smile. So, strange choice of company. Stone seems cold comfort. The man smiles slightly at your words, then nods, never taking his eyes off you. I could do better, though the road holds little else. His eyes run the length of your frame and he follows it with a sneer. Until now. The world holds many whores we worship. Respect comes with honest titles. I bet even you have gone against instinct in exchange for a little copper, or paid for such in countless ways. But if I give offense, if words are all that are left to a man, then why in the dear wood of all places he should have leave to speak them? I didn't catch your name. Or why you want to speak with me? I didn't give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? It's what's beneath the skin and the letters I care about. What burns within? It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. Hmm. What do you mean? Durance shakes his head and his hand curls tightly in his staff. I can see the questions bubbling up. Let's burn them away, one by one. I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen, its people so careless with the spirits of others and their own, watchers among them. Yes, I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk, and you are a crack that shines light from another place. We're meant to travel together, you and I. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. And you saw my soul in the flames. 
There's things we can teach each other. If you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. I don't force my words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions, don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. What kind of marks? Disease? Spirit wind? Both could have touched you, yet here you stand. As for disease, not all of us were close to water when the pox hit. But it's no longer a passenger in my flesh. It left its marks as well. But like flames, the pox doesn't strike twice, nor is it catching. Hmm. If your stone mistress there allows it, then come on. Her? Don't fear her jealousy. Let us see what the road holds, Watcher. Absolutely. The Trials of Durans. Hmm. We have new quest. Okay, you are a lower master, it seems. Okay, but I still would like to see you. Oh, you are a priest. Okay. I also like to see you with some more help. Um, I'll give you some more lore. Some more survival and maybe a little bit of mechanics. Hmm. Maybe less survival and more athletics then. And let's see, brilliant radiance. Mm -hmm. Interdiction. Inspiring. Okay, we can choose one. Ryan Summon. Summon two human skeletons. Okay, sure. Some more lore, some more athletics. Ooh, you unlock a lot of things. Endurance. I am still looking for some healing. And not endurance wise. Okay, let's see. What would you want? Um, hmm. Endurance says he and I are meant to travel together and that we can teach one another. He is a man of many words who seem to raise more questions than he answers. But if I travel the long road, then the road long enough with him, perhaps I may discover something worth learning. Okay. Um, I think that may means we have a whole party now i think i'm not entirely sure but oh maybe we'll get two more to follow to follow us oh hello there oh we cannot talk unfortunately What is that? Forest troll, great! We're dead. <laughs> um, start with this. And arcane assault. Okay, it's almost dead. I don't know why he wouldn't... Oh, he's dead. Troll skin. Fulvanus hmm. amulet. Okay, let's give it to you. 
this piece of parchment is torn and flecked with blood and troll spittle, with little of it remains reeds. Worried he may have come to no worried he may have come to harm. Once I've reached the finance bay, I will hire guards to take me back west in safety and see if we cannot my find full vano. At present I regret my eagerness to be away from the Gilded Vale. It is very dark. Okay, and I think this is the whole of this. Yeah, this is all the display is done. And I still can't. We can. We still can't go to Kate Nua. Let's go to Ainsley's compass then. We must find Renga here. Two villagers stand by one of the tight pools. They are breathing harshly, clearly winded, and look up nervously as they approach. Good day to you. If you're here to fish as we were, stranger, you want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Her companion shakes his head. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think much of the wreckage until we heard something. A terrible noise. Uh, I thought maybe it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly alive. <laughs> it was awful. What are you two doing out here? Fishing, of course. Except I lost my fishing rod when I flung it at the head of one of those monsters. <sighs> we were looking the tide pulls over and thought we would try our luck down by the rocks. Got the fright of our lives. We'll have to make do with the other nets here or go hungry. And you said there are a lot of shipwrecks here. The woman nods. All the time. It's a lovely place, but dangerous as as anything to sail. Good fishing most days. She mops her brow. I think we'll look further up the coast next time. What do you mean? What did you see? Corpses. Walking corpses. We don't want any part of it. Whatever the cost. Maybe might be we can find something in this tide pools. And then we're headed straight home. Okay. Good tidings to you. <laughs> Wait. Do you hear that? No? God damn it. You're welcome. Hmm. Sorry, so funny little things. Although I think we should rest. Hmm. I can't activate the slow mode. When we are done with fight, I think. You know what? Before we fight with anything else, I need to rest. Rest. Ahoy! Kind of you to stop and speak, my western friend. And Almawa stands before you, his hair matted and once bright clothes in ruins. Equally ruined is his face, a hatching of thin scars crossed by broader wounds. I haven't seen another kiss since my ship went down. I do not suppose you are looking to light a new purse. Who are you? I am called Ponamu Bird's Cornet, Hornicle of the Huana people. Strange, I know, but we do not choose our names, do we? <laughs> he chuckles, running a hand across his scarred visage. You are shipwrecked. Aye, we were transporting goods from the Dead Fire to Defiance Bay when a storm took us, of course, and ran us ground here. Only I survived. He frowns for a moment, but then shakes his head, clearing the expression. You should consider sailing the islands of the Dead Fire, a friend. No more beautiful our realm exists in the whole of the world. What are you selling? The ship's cargo, goods from the dead fire, a few personal trinkets, all of the highest quality. I wouldn't sell them, but without coin. How am I to return to my homeland? Let me see your wares. Of course. And I'll sell you something of mine. Yes. This. 
Padded armor, shoe. Uh, no, no, give me this. I don't know if it will be necessary for me, but. We have lots of lockpicks. Mm. Yeah, I won't be stashing all the books. I don't know if the, those hides are also necessary for anything. Don't judge me. <laughs> How much do I have? Not that much. Um, you have some nice stuff. Wait, torches? Yeah, I can sell those. Wolf hide as well. Hmm, still not enough. Maybe once we can come back, once we have some more. I mean, find the saber. You. Use fine saver, I think it would be better. <laughs> Club or saver of the seas. Oh, okay. I'll get you the fine saver. Be grateful. Thank you. And also, I need to do some sorting, really. Because we have all sort of stuff, so you will be collecting hides, I will be holding on to the potions, you will keep... and lockpicks. Uh, oh, the amulet. Neck. So you can take it. Um, you will be holding this. We really have tons of rock picks. Wait, we can you learn it? I don't know. I don't think we'll need this grimoire anymore either. <laughs> do you do something? Let's walk with the little piggy for now. I'm here. Yes, we have spirit pig. <laughs> but I'll end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.